Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have m multiplied by m multiplied by m multiplied by m and it is divided by m plus m plus m plus m and this whole equation is equals to 54 and we can solve this problem for all the values of m. And now here uh, first you see in the numerator term the exponents of each of these term is equals to 1 uh, and here we can apply the exponent law uh, so you know about this law if we have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m plus n according to this exponent law we need to add the exponents of all of these terms so it will be written as m to the power of 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 <clears throat> and it is divided by here you see that m is added by 4 times so when we add any number 4 times it will be written as 4 times of that number okay so this will be written as 4 times of m and equals to 54 and now here in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and in the numerator term we have m to the power of 4 divided by here we move this 4 to the right hand side and in the numerator we have only m equals to 54 multiplied by 4 and now in the next step you see here this m and these are cancelled out by each other and we get in the left hand side is m cubed is equals to in the right hand side we have 4, 4 times of 4 becomes 16 we write 6 and carry 1 4 5 is a 20 20 plus 1 uh, becomes here 21 so it will be written as 216 and we know about uh, 216 it is equals to 6 cubed so it will be written as m cubed is equals to 6 cubed so we move 6 cubed in the left hand side and it will be written as m cubed minus 6 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we apply the cubic formula you know that if we have a cube minus b cube equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. And you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so that uh, according to this formula we write our above equation as in this form first we have a minus b the value of a is m minus value of b is 6 and again we have a square a is m square plus a b so a is m and b is 6 plus b square so b is 6 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step we need more simplifications here and it will be written as m minus 6 times of m square plus 6 m plus the 6 square equals to 36 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write m minus 6 equals to 0 and the second case is we write m square plus 6m plus 36 equals to 0 so from first case we easily get the value of m is equals to 6 this is the our first real root of the given equation and now in order to find the other roots we need to solve uh, this quadratic equation and you see here this is quadratic in m variable and here we can apply the quadratic formula so that first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to 6 and c is equals to 36 and we state the quadratic formula as m is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the over quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c here 
so after substituting, uh, substituting the values we write this equation as the value of b is 6 it will become minus 6 plus minus square root of b square b is 6 square minus 4 times of a is 1 c is 36 and it is divided by 2 times of a here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and we have m is equals to minus 6 plus minus here we know that 6 square equals to 36 minus this is 4 times of 36 divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2 and now you see here in the numerator uh, inside the square root sign we have 36 be the common term so here we uh, when you take common this 36 we get here 1 we get the remaining value is 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 2. So after this step we have m is equal to this is minus 6 plus minus here we know that square root of 36 is equals to 6 and remaining we have 1 minus 4 and 1 minus 4 equals to minus square root of 3 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step we need to break this fraction and we can write these two separately on both of these values and it will be written as minus 6 over 2 plus minus 6 times of uh, here you see that negative sign appears inside the square root sign so uh, it will becomes iota and we get a square root of 3 times of iota and it is divided by 2 and now here further in the next step uh, we have uh, you cancelled these terms so this is 2 times of 3 becomes 6 we get our m is equals to minus 3 plus minus here you have this is again 2 times of 3 becomes 6 we get 3 times of square root of 3 into iota these are the other two complex roots of the given equation so uh, finally we have uh, the three roots of the given equation are uh, so the first real root is m1 equals to 6 the second root is m2 equals to here we choose the positive value it is minus 3 plus 3 times of square root of 3 iota and the third root is m3 equals to minus 3 minus 3 times of square root of 3 into iota. So these are the three uh, roots of the given equation. And uh, I hope so you like this method. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.